All right, let's wrap up with my guests. We've been looking at ways to make sure South African footballers in particular could access sound advice on a whole range of issues. This has been sparked by the tragic loss of lives lately, those of Anne Lengonga and Mojeka Madisha. But ours is an all-encompassing chat, looking at life coaching in general and how to provide help to those who need it. Um, Timothy, we mentioned a lot in the first uh, two segments of the show. Um, our national icons, our national footballers are also role models and examples for, for, for football fans and people who are supporters of football and in the country. Your word of advice on how they need to carry themselves and the decisions that they need to make in their personal lives. Look, we, we have always had this uh, broad discussion about being a role model. The, the question is, who is a role model? Uh, I mean, if Arthur, you are my role model, then I need to make a choice to, uh, to pick those good things of what you are as a role model and then incorporate those in my own life, not whatever you stand for. So every role model has got their own weaknesses. But look for the positives of that role model and then incorporate it in your own life to make your life better so that you don't put that too much pressure onto that individual. Now, the role models at this moment in time are struggling to lead society into what they believe they should be. So they are not encompassing their weaknesses to try and confront them. For example, if a role model is, is a drug addict, uh, is alcoholic, is not willing, is scared to, uh, to seek help because in his mind he thinks he's a role model carrying the whole society. So that education needs to be impacted so that we can help these players and the role models to become human in, in a way. Uh, Coach Nseki, as you've heard, uh, Timothy just mentioned there, one of the virtues and the characteristics of what it means to be a role model is discipline, balance, hard work. Uh, what can you add to that list to inspire um, those that are passionate uh, about football and one day also want to be in the shoes like, uh, of course, Tyson, who has captained the national team for, for quite some time now? I think the, the issue of a role model is very important and it's very broad because if you are to mention all the values and all um, the, the most important aspects of a role model, I think um, uh, our players will, will, will understand how important it is to be a role model because um, you, you are born with this talent and that is the talent that um, you need to look after. That is the talent that you need to protect all the time. Because uh, at any work environment, you should always be able to protect um, your, yourself. You should always be able to look well after the career that uh, you are doing. Because it is not only about um, getting um, your salary at the end of the month, but all that is important. It is the work that you put every day into your profession. It is the work that you put every time you go onto the pitch and represent your team or represent your country. So that is very important. Look well after your talent so that the talent can look well after you. But in most cases, we struggle to have balance in terms of looking well after your talent and managing your talent so that you can also manage your life. So if ever we can be able to manage the talent that we are born with so that we can manage our lives, I think um, we will be able to, uh, to bring down uh, this type of incident and will be able to be the, the right role model that we are talking about. Thanks for that, Coach Nseki. Uh, Tula Khanyo, just lost, and a closing comments from you on the overall matter. Look, I couldn't agree more with my colleagues uh, that the issue of a role model is very important. But also we must create an enabling environment. And that's what I, you know, we put emphasis on. You, when you look at, at football in South Africa play, sometimes there are no... Yes, there's money in football, but there's not enough money in football to engage on other programs. You know, we need to have uh, corporate coming on board. We must talk, I mean, at some point, Arthur, with the issue of sponsorship to say, how do we deal with this? So that we can be able to say these are dedicated programs that will deal and address the issues that we might have missed at the level of development. You know, once we have that, we are able to deal with that. But to the players as well, they really need to understand that, you know, they are role models to many and uh, most importantly, they are breadwinners. And when they leave that space, when they, whatever decision that they make, they are going to have a bit of a problem. But we're hoping and we strongly believe that, uh, you know, we will win this battle as it were. Fantastic. This has been a very tough year for football. We've had to say goodbye to um, administrators, journalists and players themselves. It's been an unwanted long list of those uh, from the football fraternity who've passed on. 
and our condolences go out to friends and family. I'm Arthur Bonacawa. Join me again next week for another look at Inside Sports.